Number one, brain box. A very intelligent, clever, and quick-witted person is described as brain box. This word is chiefly British, and can be used as one word, as in brain box, or two words, as in brain box. Example: Because John was brought up in a highly educated family, he grew up a total brain box. Number two, braggart. Someone who proudly talks a lot about himself or herself, and his or her achievements or positions is described as braggart. That is, someone who boastfully displays their abilities, achievements, or positions is called braggart. Example: John always keeps talking of his own excellence. He is really a braggart. Number three. Brisk, a person who is very active, quick, and full of energy, strength, and vitality, and says only what is necessary, is called a brisk person. Example: In the office, he was brisk and business-like. Number four, broad-minded, someone willing to accept many different types of behavior, beliefs. Or choices in other people is called broad-minded. That is, someone who is tolerant, liberal in views, and free from prejudice, biasness, and bigotry, is described as broad-minded. Example: My father is a broad-minded person. Number five: Bull-headed. Someone who is very determined to do. What they want to do, especially without considering other people's feelings, is called bullheaded. That is, a bullheaded person is a blindly stubborn or headstrong person. Example: I don't like John, as he is a bullheaded person who never cares about others' feelings. Number six: busybody. A meddling or prying person, who is too much interested in the private lives of other people, is called busybody. That is, this disapproving word is used for someone who involves in the matters that do not belong to them. Example: John is an interfering busybody. Number seven: bubbly. Someone who is bubbly is very lively and cheerful and talks a lot. That is, this word positively describes a woman who is cheerful, energetic, and pleasant. Example: Your daughter is a cute and bubbly girl. Number eight: Brute. If you call somebody a brute, you mean that they are savagely rough. Severely violent towards others, and extremely insensitive to others' feelings. Example: Castro was an idiot and a brute, and he deserved his fate. Number nine: Bleeding heart. Someone who shows too much sympathy for everyone is called bleeding heart. That is. If you describe someone as a bleeding heart, you criticize them for being too much sympathetic towards people who are in need without doing anything practical to help. Example: Not all politicians are a bleeding heart. Number ten, bone idol. This disapproving word is used for someone who is extremely lazy. Who always tries to avoid work, or who doesn't want to use energy and strength? Example: I'm sick of John, because he is nothing but a bone idol. Compulsory test. Answer the following questions. Number one: Who is a bullheaded person? Number two: Who is busybody? Number three. What is the meaning of brisk? 
Number four, what does a brain box mean? And number five, who is described as a bleeding heart? Answer keys. Number one, a bull-headed person is someone determined to do what they want without caring about others' feelings. Number two, a busybody is someone who is too interested in the private lives of other people. Number three, a brisk person is an active and energetic person. Number four, a very intelligent person is called a brain box. And number five, a bleeding heart is a person who is too sympathetic towards the needy but doesn't do anything practical to help.